In this lecture, we will be discussing about the stoichiometry of cell growth and product formation. So, in this, uh, this is rather long lecture, so we will be dividing this one into two parts. So, in uh, last time we discussed about material balances. Now, in this uh, part of the lecture, we will be discussing about the uh, material balance, but with cell growth and product formation. Now, we can consider the cell as a worker, as or rather it's a mini bioreactor by itself. So it intakes substrate, and if it's an aerobic culture, you have oxygen and also the nitrogen sources, and then process them to form other cells, which are your biomass, carbon dioxide, and water. So the general chemical reaction, or the simplified chemical reaction in this process can be obtained in this equation. So you have C, CW, H, X, O, Y, and Z. So in here you have mo mostly variables. So this, the first term, CW, H, X, O, Y, and Z, that is your carbon source. And AO2, A is the coefficient, so you have oxygen. And then H, G, O, H, N, 1, this is your nitrogen source. And then you have your biomass. So this one then becomes your biomass, and this is carbon dioxide and water. So that's for cell growth. So I'm using PDF. Okay, so of course we have balancing balance reaction, so we need, we need to do elemental balance here. So this is a, a process with reaction, therefore you cannot expect that the moles of individual species, for example the substrate going in is the same as the substrate going out. So what we can be sure of is that the mass, the, the, ele the elements itself, the elements coming in are the same as the elements going out. So you have carbon balance, which is equal to the carbon source. So the carbon source is W. So we only have W number of carbon. So W is equal to, and then you have, the on the product side, you have C times 1, and then you have D and C and D. So you have basically that. So W is equal to C plus D. And then for the hydrogen balance, look at the, all the hydrogens. So you have X, you have... Uh, G, uh, B, G, and then on the other side, you have C alpha, and then you have e, uh, 2 E. So that's for hydrogen balance. The same goes for the oxygen balance. So take all of the oxygens on the right and then on the left side. The same for nitrogen balance. So aside from this elemental balance, we also have a, a, a parameter called the respiratory quotient. So the respiratory quotient is basically the amount of carbon carbon dioxide produced over the moles uh, over the oxygen consumed. So this is by mole basis. So if you look at your uh, equation, so you have here the amount of carbon dioxide is based on D, and then you have A oxygens. So you have D over A. So the respiratory quotient is D over A. So let's have an example. So in the production of single cell protein from hexadecane, it's described with the following reaction. So C16, so hexadecane. So you have oxygen, this is aerobic reaction. The nitrogen source is ammonia. You have your uh, mass, uh, biomass. This is the um, formula, the simplified chemical formula of the biomass. We all know that's not the actual chemical formula of the cell, but this is the simplified one. And then you have carbon dioxide and water. And then if you ha your RQ, respiratory quotient is 40, 0.43, what, is, what are the stoichiometric coefficients? So we're going to look for A, B, C, D, and E. So let's have our analysis or given. So we are given the mass, the equation, stoichiometric equation, or uh, reaction equation of the cell. And then the RQ, 0 0.43, which is equal to D over A. So let's do the mass, the elemental balance. So for the carbon, we have 16 carbon on the reactant side. On the product side, you have C and D. Sorry. And then you have hydrogen balance. For the hydrogens, you have 34 plus 3B, three hydrogens in ammonia. And then you have, on the product side, 1.66C plus 2E. And then oxygen balance, you have 2A is equal to 0.27C 
plus 2D and E. And then, for the nitrogen balance, you have 0 point, uh, the B 0 point, is equal to 0 point 20 C. So, we now have a total of 5 equations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with 5 unknowns. A, B, C, D, and E. So, we can now start with the equation. So, the, the R, you can be written as... 0 point, uh, 0 point, uh, we can rewrite this one as D is equal to 0 point 43A. And then for the carbon balance, we can rewrite this as, in terms of C, we have D is equal to 16 minus C. So we can now uh, rewrite D as, as, as other variables A and C. Now, from that, you can further simplify it. So from these two derivative equations, or, well, not exactly uh, derivative of calculus, these two equations, you have your, uh, the, if your D is 0.43a, so just substitute D from this equation to this equation, so you end up with 0.43a is equal to 16 minus C, and then A is equal to 37.209 minus 2.326C. So basically, this is just um, nitty-gritty algebra. Well, we will try to um, eliminate all of the other variables. So, we will try to express everything by C. So, although it's not necessarily always C, you can do D, e, D or E. It's actually your own choice. But, uh, I do prefer to write it as C. And then, the other uh, other equation. So, the hydrogen balance can be written as 34 plus 3 0 0.26, so where did, where did this account come from? This one come from the end balance. B in terms of C. So you have this equation. So 3 times 0.20C so equals to 1.66C plus 2E. Now we can rewrite this one further to have your E expressed in terms of C. So E is equal to 17 minus 0 0.53C. So we, can, we now have D in terms of uh C, we have A in terms of C, E in terms of C, and B in terms of C. And then for the final equation, we can re uh, rewrite everything. So the, the, the equation from the end balance, so, sorry, the oxygen balance equation. So rewrite these terms, in all of them in terms of C. So you have 2 times 37.209A minus, uh, sorry, it's, there's not supposed to be no A there. 337.209 minus 2.326C is equal to 0 0.27C plus 2 times 16 minus C plus 17 minus 0 0.53C. Ending up with a C. So, one equation, one unknown. So, you can get C as 10.64. And then, from that, we can just, since we, we were able to express all, that, all of the others in terms of C, so we get, we just substitute everything and we will get the coefficients. So the answers, the, the stoichiometric coefficients are C is equal to 10.64, A is 12.48, B is 2.13, D is 5.37, and E is 11.36. So that is uh, a general elemental balance. So you have, it's actually quite simple. The, the only, pro, the only um, challenge here is just uh, uh, the nitty-gritty algebra. So you must be very um you must be very patient okay so uh, i will conclude this part of the lecture the next part we will be discussing about electron balance